if I am in Ellie's shoes, I'm going to hate him for the rest of my life for doing it. Yeah. So I'm I'm indifferent, uh, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> because I hate I hate that I hate that thought. It's been a minute since we had you around here, which is exciting right to have you back. Um, oh. I feel like I don't think I've even talked to you about this, but I feel like I always have the urge to bring you in when there's a topic that I feel pretty good about, but that I think you might be able to dig into the deeper parts of me <laughs> to like yeah. make me understand a little bit better. Um, and this episode is just so wrapped up in great conversation topics all week. Anybody who has watched the show has been like, here's how I feel not like yeah. about the episode, but the content like within the episode, totally. they're saying like, this is what I would have done. And not, I don't even proposition them. They just start saying it. And I don't even say like, I talk about this literally every yeah. second for the past two months. <laughs> um, but it's, it's really exciting. So today is a perfect Without day to have you around um, to chat all about that. Yeah. What do we think? Did, did he do the right thing? What, I guess the real way of posing this question is, is yeah. this what you would have done? I, I think this is one of those moments where I I think there's like a lot of pride in like stepping into the space of like book yeah I would have killed everybody in that in that piece just to like save my person but like I think I would have done up to like killing everybody I probably would have done the like anyone who's like pointing a gun at me like you're fucking dead but I think I would have gotten in there to the the like professionals who actually knew and would have gone like, is this for sure going to save the world? Is this for sure going to create a cure for this thing? And if they looked at me and were like, yes, without a doubt, we'll be able to create a cure for <laughs> this. And I'd be like, yeah, Ugh, like, okay. Like this is probably what she'd want, you know, you know, probably mm -hmm. be what she'd want. But like, like, anything short of that if they're like well we don't know we're like everything's a roll of the dice isn't it you know i would have been like nah <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> we're out you know like find your cure somewhere else you fucks which that's kind of that, what is really happening here it. right is they're they're saying we're gonna we're gonna try this we don't know it yeah and i i mean and and also like what joel is saying is right it's like hey you're like what he didn't say like when he says like you're making this decision for her and marlene's going like so are you like yep. you could go like cool great so like just because we're both doing a fucked up thing doesn't mean that we should still kill her and not actually ask her what she'd want why don't we wake her up and go like hey clear-eyed this is what's going on we don't yep. know if this is gonna work but we'd like to do this thing and we need to operate on your brain to see if it'll work. You're probably going to die. What do you think? Yeah. You know, like, I think, I think that is what, what I would have like murdered people for that to be the thing that actually happened yeah. where I'd go like, like whoa, 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 like if we're, we really have to ask the person who's has the agency over their own body, what should happen here? Like what, what's yes. your choice? Because this is your body no matter what it could mean for everybody else yeah i can, you know? i watch this even when i played the game i think they actually give a little bit more meaning to it in the game of why it plays out this way but i don't from what i recall they don't in the show of just like what's what's the rush why why are they like yeah. doing this now because there is no like let's just wake her up let's have the conversation we'll bring you in the room we'll talk about it like adults like let's just figure this out and there isn't that yeah. there is the she's knocked out on the table um we're gonna dig in her brain we're gonna make a cure right now sorry <laughs> see you later yeah uh and this is where i sort of want to get into beloved's comments here because i think they play into this perfectly um mm -hmm. let's be honest even if ellie was given a choice i think it wouldn't be right because the fireflies medical research is not comprehensive they were really going to kill the only person specimen that was immune instead of studying her more this is the take that i saw so many times on tiktok this week from like the medical community <laughs> which is really funny with the mom being like <laughs> a there really is no way to create a vaccine of fungus b there's no really way to create a vaccine uh at, like out of a brain and c like there is no world in which any doctor <laughs> is going to do that where they're just going to kill the one person that they know of that is immune 
because if you do it wrong, it's gone. <laughs> and then it's completely your fault, not Joel's fault. It's going to be your fault immediately. If you're wrong, it's over and you got nobody left. Um, uh, so my take on did yes. you do the right thing? Would, would you, would you do <laughs> I this? I probably should have gone first because I'm going to cheat my way out of this. <laughs> <laughs> here's the thing is like i talked about this when we started um this whole venture when, when we sort of got in this first conversation i sort of talked about how every time i've sort of played the game i've gotten a deeper connection to joel and i've sort of examined the story and i've thought more about my relationship to him and as the show started and sort of went further i started to draw more connections to him up to the point that i eventually brought up in my therapy of being like have you been watching the last of us because we should talk about Joel <laughs> and they're being like, mm, interesting. Okay, let's go. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I, it, I, when I play the game up and I think it was really up until these last couple episodes that I was kind of always of the brain. Like, yeah, I'm going to do exactly what Joel did. I think he did the right thing. If I am in his shoes, I'm doing that. Cause that's the person that I love. I, I found this purpose with this person. They have provided so much relief for me. They have provided, so much into my life that I was missing that I lost and I'm going to do anything to protect them because uh, of my love towards them. But the, the show does such a great job of presenting this, this idea that that's, that's fine up to a point, but insert Frank, <laughs> You got to also like live on the two way street here and understand yeah. the other person that is at stake here and understand that they are playing into this just as much as you are. You are fulfilling a spot in their life in some sort of way. And just as much as they are providing for you, you're providing for them. And yeah, it just mm -hmm. kind of plays back and forth. So now I, I think watching this episode, it played out and I do, I think I'm aligned with you that in his shoes sure i'm probably still gonna do it but at the same time <laughs> if i am in ellie's shoes i'm gonna hate him for the rest of my life for doing it yeah so i'm i'm indifferent uh i would say <laughs> <laughs> because oh, i hate, i hate that i hate that <laughs> thought um i would love someone in chat that could provide the alternate take of like no he, he's stupid he, could, he did the wrong thing and give me reasons but i i mean i i think it does play out this way almost in any situation um and yeah it's it's a just it's just what like a parent does and again i don't i can't speak from experience being a parent um because I'm not, <laughs> but uh, I don't know if I ever will be just, I, I can sort of put myself in those shoes and imagine somebody that I love that matters that much to me that I would do it for them. But again, like I'm, I'm indifferent to it because I know that Ellie would forever hate me for doing it. Um, but really my like full takeaway from the presentation of how this comes to be is that I love this story so, so deeply because when you like it does get into the let's get the stuff that um beloved was mentioning all the conversations i've been having this week the stuff i've been seeing on tiktok it brings up all these different takes of like well why wouldn't you do it this way or that way there's ways to sort of live in the middle there mm -hmm. i kind of i just don't want to even think about a lot of those a lot of the time i do want to just see the story as it is presented because it's not so much about like the reality of what's happening it is really just this presentation of this idea of this trolley problem of what do you do in this situation? Do you save the one person you love or do you save the world? Right. And just being presented that idea within this beautiful story being put in front of millions of people who now get to live in that space for, I don't know, three, four years now and think about this and rewatch it and think about it more and wrestle with it. I just mm -hmm. love stuff like that existing. I've, I've always loved storytelling as a medium, period, no matter what form it's in, if it's video games, if it's television, if it's movies, if it's books, whatever. I don't like the story if it doesn't give me that sort of feeling of, I don't know. Right. I, I want to live in those gray areas at all times because it makes me think, what would I do and why? And it really 
makes me reflect on myself, not in just the cut or dry way of being like, oh, I wish I was a superhero. I wish I was Spider-Man, like zipping around, being able to do all these cool things. And I would just like save humanity for like the good of man. It's more of, yeah. I would, who would I save? Would I save the one person? Would I save the world? I, I just need stories like that more often. And we need them way more often <laughs> in video games. Uh, yeah. So I'm, sure. I'm excited for that to become a thing after people watch this and they're like, shit. Without a doubt. Yeah, like no clear-cut protagonists and antagonists is always the way to go. Like everybody has a cause worth fighting for, which is just like true to life, right? Yeah. 